Hey everyone, so I know this is really late at night, but I just want to do this quick video for you guys on how to pack for a long weekend. Now this weekend is only going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so it seems like a normal one, but the amount of things that I'm doing this weekend make it a very long weekend. So I just want to show you guys this video on how to organize things, what to pack, how to pack it, and let's get started. So first off, this is an overview, and it seems like a lot, but I have everything spread out. And then I'm going to go into detail on how I pack things and how I organize them. So first off, we're going to start with my first outfit. And this is what I'm wearing to work tomorrow. This is a shirt that I got from TJ Maxx. It was like $3, and it's like a long sleeve um, with roll-up sleeves, and then it's just orange and orange and blue. And then I have this really pretty necklace from Charlotte Russe, and I got this for $5, and I really like it because it's cream and gold, so it's really pretty. And for that outfit, I'm actually wearing a pair of white shorts with it, but that's in another outfit. So in order for it to be organized, I just really wanted it to be with the other outfit. Moving on, I have, actually, it'll jump to this outfit. I'm actually going to do a Tigers game tonight, or, yeah, tonight with my boyfriend. And so I decided that I wanted to lay out this outfit. So I have, first, I have um, my Tiger jersey that's underneath. And I have my white shorts that I'm going to be wearing with my outfit tonight. And then I have a blue, like a navy blue tank top. And this is just from, like, Forever 21. And I have my belt from American Eagle, my shoes that are from, I think they're from Walmart, and then I have my little gold necklace. And that's my outfit for tonight. So what I'll be doing is I'll be moving from this outfit from work all the way over to this one. And the nice thing is is that I've made it so the only thing I have to change from work is my top because I'll already be wearing the shorts. Next up I have my... Uh, Saturday outfit. I was trying to remember what one it was. Saturday, Chris and I have a family, like, pig roast. So I wanted to do something kind of fun and casual, but something that's still in style. So first off, I have a pink, uh, it's like a, it's like a slouchy three-quarter, uh, neon pink. The light doesn't do it justice. But this is like a neon pink shirt with some really pretty mint shorts that I got from Kohl's. And this shirt is from JCPenney. Next, I have my gold Steve Madden shoes, and then I prepared it with my new gold watch, and then this really pretty dangle necklace that I got from the loft, um, along with my rosette earrings and my best friend star bracelet. And this also has a brown belt with it. So like I said, this is something that's really, really casual, and but still in style. So then it comes Sunday, and Sunday's weather is supposed to be really, really weird. It can, it's about to, it's supposed to rain, and then it's supposed to be really sunny. So what I've done is that I found a top that's very neutral, along with my new coral shorts. They are turning up super orange in this video, but if you guys go on AmericanEagle.com, you guys will know what one I'm talking about. They're the really pretty coral color. So if those don't work out, I've paired a pair of orange, and these are turning up yellow. My, the lighting in here is terrible because it's so dark at night, and I'm just using my ceiling fan. But these are my new Lauren Conrad shorts, and they're just really simple and plain. Um, you guys saw this in my last haul video. And I have these with my, uh, gold sandals. I don't even know. I think I got these from, like, one of those weird stores in the mall. But these are really comfortable. So the only thing, that if something happens with these pants where it's, like, too hot, or I don't feel, like, very comfortable in them, I always have these comfy shorts to change into. And what I've paired with this outfit is my Sweetheart Rose Gold bracelet from BC Beach Generation, along with my new Rose Gold. I guess, it, I don't know if this is Rose Gold. Let me see if I can... This is like, um, it's like pink and gold, but you guys have seen it in my haul. And then what I'll do is I'll take all, I'll take, probably take my gold watch and place it with that too. And then next up I just have my bra and my underwear. I'm not really going to go into that detail of that. I have a pair of pajamas to wear. So I have just a tank top and a pair of, these are really, really cute and I want to show you guys these. They are a pair of long pants, but they're from Victoria's Secret Pink, and they just have some lace on them. I got these for the semi-annual sale for like $10, and they are the comfiest things I've ever worn. I like them better than the yoga pants. And then, oh my god, my Superman shirt. And this is actually something I'm giving to Chris. Um, I've had it, like, forever, but it doesn't fit me. It's too big, and he loves Superman, so I'm giving it to him. He already knows about it, but... 
Next up, um, I have this outfit. This is like a spare outfit, and this outfit is for Chris is tearing apart his car and selling it um, because he just got a brand new car, and he's piecing off the old car. And so we're going to tear apart some things, and so I just have a black tank top from Walmart that is from the Faded Glory. It's just a plain black one. And then I have my high-waisted American Eagle shorts that I don't mind getting dirty. And that is for when we are putting the air conditioning in his new car because it broke for some odd reason and we're going to tear apart some of his old car. Next up we have all my cosmetics and I have this all spread out for you guys because I want to show you what I'm taking and this is stuff that I kind of have as always my spare, not spare, some things are spare, some things are not. First off let's go into makeup. And I have all my essential brushes and I have two I have, I put them, I placed them in order of what I use them in. I have an, a lid, a crease, another lid, like a highlighter, a blending, um, a foundation brush for my lids, and then I have my blush, and I have my blush brush, blush right next to it. And I showed you guys, this is my e.l.f., um, what one was this? I think it was like Pink Passion or something. And then I have over here, I just have my foundation, my e.l.f. Um, tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 and I have a little bunny brush and I'm probably going to get rid of this one because this one's been used and you're supposed to use once, you know, one every time. And then over here I have my concealer that I'll be using with this brush. Um, I am not taking my big e.l.f. palette. I am instead just taking a simple neutral palette that I know will go with everything that I'm wearing. That's something great to find at a drugstore or whatnot because you never know when you're going to be traveling. You don't want to take a huge palette. I have some eyeliner, just my Sephora um, black. Sephora, just, you know, neutral. N neutral. How is black neutral? Black is kind of neutral. But anyway, it's just, you know, a plain one. Next up, I have mascara, and I have my Falsies Volume from Maybelline. And this is not, like, a spare or anything. This is just my favorite one, so I wanted to take this one. Um, I have my Baby Lips Pink Punch because I know this will go with everything. I don't want to take a bunch of makeup because I know that I'm going to need to be going on the run a ton. So I want to just have something neutral and not having to change up makeup all the time. Um, next up I have two nail polishes and I'm actually going to be doing my nail actresses just because mine need to be done so bad. I mean, as you guys can see, they're just terrible right now. So I have um, Essie's Fiji and that still has a tag on I haven't used it with a top and base coat. So that's something really great to take. Next up, I have my blow dryer and straightener, and I am not taking a curling iron because my extensions are already pretty curled, and if I do anything to them, I will do them in the morning when I use this. Um, next up, I have my favorite um, perfume of the moment. This is Peach Sparkle. It's from the Bath and Body Works. They just sold this at the semi-annual sale. It was like $14, and you got it half off, so I paid 7 for it, and it smells delicious. You guys heard me rave about that. Retainer, because I always need to keep my teeth straight, because when I was younger, I did have braces, and I'm always in the habit of using my retainer. Um, I have a teasing comb and a layer comb, and then I have my mirror for doing my extensions. I have my actual extensions. Um, I'm actually going to wear those with this tomorrow because these are, I'm doing my hair for the Tigers game as well. Um, I have my small Betsyville cosmetic case and I got this at TJ Maxx. Isn't this so cute? I just, I just love this. I actually burnt the back of it. I was really upset. It was like two days into having it and it, I put my curling iron too close to it and I melted it. So, Moving back here, I have my Macadamia um, shampoo and conditioner. Now, you guys know that I'm currently using the, um, whatchamacallit, the, what am I using, you guys? Oh, Lush. I'm using Lush and the bar soap, and um, I'm actually using that right now. But since this is almost done, I just want to kind of get rid of it. Um, then I have some Vaseline for my eyelids. I found out that if you put some Vaseline on your eyelids before you go to bed, help your lashes grow. Glasses. Makeup wipes. I really like these, actually. This is the first time I'm using them. This is just from Target. It's, a uh, cost bar. There's 30 bucks, and I thought the packaging was super cute. If your packaging is cute, you'll sell it to me. Um, I actually just went to the eye doctor today and the dentist, so if you guys follow me on Facebook, you guys will know that I hate going to the dentist. And so I got some, just a small 
if I can open it, I'll show you guys. A small little travel size um, contact solution, which is perfect instead of taking my huge one. Um, I got a small thing of Crest 3D white for my dentist, so thank you, dentist. And this is really great for traveling. I have my razor, my toothbrush, and then I have my small actually not really small but it's uh, my Vera Bradley shower kit and this is really great because this way if anything spills it just spills inside the bag I also have my brush um, I didn't show you this before just my standard brush I only take two brushes I take this one and I take this one and the last thing I usually like to take a bigger bag just in case we do something and that is not good enough like if we go to the beach or something like that now I'm not specifically I don't know if I'm going to take this yet because I don't want to feel I don't feel like taking a bunch of bags but and it is brand new and I have not used it yet but I'm just I don't know yet so this is maybe and then of course I have my purse and this is my brand new little purse that I have and I got it from a little boutique by my work and I just really fell in love with it, it was super super cute so that is my current purse at the moment. Okay guys, so first thing I'm going to probably pack is my cosmetics. Now, I know that I'm not going to pack this yet, but just for you guys I'm going to show you. So I have my Betsyville um, cosmetic holder, and it's it has this little, I just noticed it's a little light bulb, that's so cute. And I'm going to go right inside and show you guys how I pack everything. So first off you guys, I have everything in here. I like to keep... All my brushes, this is going to be kind of hard to do, so bear with me. All my brushes are on the bottom, just so they stay all together. Then I go with my concealer, my blush, and all the little looser items. On the corner over here, I've packed my my um, palette. And then on top, I have my um, nail polishes. So it's just kind of simple. It's not something like thrown together, but I know where everything is at. I usually don't like to just kind of throw it all in there because that one time I'm going to be like, oh, I need something, and I'm going to just go right to the bottom or right to the side and whatnot. Next up, I have my um, shower things and all my personal needs. Um, I'm using my Vera Bradley pattern one, I guess you could say. I don't know exactly what this is called. But first what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my shampoos and stand them up in it. This way, everything is nicely stood up, and it has a base for everything. Next time, I'm going to take my perfume, and once again, I'm just standing this up. My, ah, my brush. And I know all this stuff is probably going to fall, but just for the time being, it's nice to have a base. I'm next up going to take my um, makeup wipes. Followed by my main mirror. I'm going to take my glasses and stand them up along with my small travel um, contact solution. Next up, um, I'm trying. My doctor prescribed some uh, eye drops to me, so I'm just going to throw those in here. My toothbrush, razor, and toothpaste are going to go next. And I do have a toothbrush holder. I'm just going to use this in a little bit, so I'm just showing you guys. I have a chip clip um, for my hair for when I do my extensions. My Vaseline. And of course, my retainer. And that then just gets zipped up like that, and it stays all in place. Now for clothes, I'm actually taking my Vera Bradley Small Weekender. This is from a really, really long time ago. I have my name on it. Um, but this is just a really cute, great size. Um, I actually had this back when I was in like, I don't know, sixth grade and I was ice skating. This was my travel bag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every outfit and I'm going to minus the jewelry from it. And I'm going to put it in the bottom of my bag first. So first off, I have... What I'm going to do also is I'm going to work it from the bottom up. So I'm going to be taking my Lauren Conrad shorts and my American Eagle jeans along with the top and shoes and I'm going to put them right in the bottom. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my outfit for the pig roast and I'm going to apply that right on top of it. What this does is that I can work my way down to the bottom to find the outfits that I need. 
Next up is my tigers, and this goes right on top. And that side, and I push that all the way to one side, it doesn't really matter what way you do it. So next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my underwear, my bra, and my sleeping wear to go into this. Now with underwear, you can just throw them in there since they're very flexible, so they don't really matter. But for bras, a really good bra saver is to stack them, just like so, and just apply them right on top of the underwear. And then for my pajamas, these are going to go right at the bottom. Now we have my spare items, my Superman shirt for Chris, and my extra work outfit. And these are just going to go right down on top of the um, pajamas. Now, it seems like I've stacked a lot of things, but I have this whole other side for my cosmetics and my blow dryer and my straightener and everything. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my shower pack and I'm just going to apply this um, right into this corner. Next, I'm going to take my straightener, and I have my chip clip on here just so I know that just in case that one breaks, I have an extra one. I have it rolled up, and I'm going to lay it flat on top of my bag, followed by my blow dryer. followed by my cosmetics. Now, if you guys want to save some space, you can certainly just pack whatever you want in this, or you can pack something smaller. I just prefer something just like that. Now, with jewelry, I took all my jewelry out of this bag because I didn't want it to get tangled or anything. And I actually have a small separate bag for that. Okay, so this is my bag for my jewelry. And I'm not very picky about my jewelry just because I know that it's very breakable or it's not, it is very breakable so I don't really, you know, it's cheap too. So it doesn't really bother me if, you know, something gets broke because I know it's just going to be a Forever 21 or whatever. For my more expensive items, I like to put them in plastic bags but since I don't really have anything too expensive, they're just going in this. And another great thing is to find jewelry that goes with everything that you have. Not to take silver and gold and rose gold and whatever. Just for a small weekend, just try to take one type. So I'm going to fit that right on the top, just like so. I now have my weekend bag packed. And also, I already took my white shorts out of this because I know that I'm going to be needing them for my work outfit. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this organizational video. And if you guys want to see a what's in my purse, make sure you guys comment below or like this video. And make sure you guys subscribe because I love seeing those numbers go up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.